when Gulf Wang first splashed onto the scene over a decade ago. The hyper-colored clothes and proactive graphics were magnets for controversy. Many dismissed the brand as shock value churned out by Odd's future ringleader, Tyler the Creator, and his band of mate widows. Sure, the oversaturated pastels and flaming cheetah prints felt fresh at first, but after a few seasons, some fans became critical. Complaints emerged that Gulf Wang's designs lacked refinement and Tyler's imagination had grown still. For a while, the early magic seemed to fade. Some even claimed Gulf Wing's glory days were permanently behind them after peeking with those gloriously bizarre laser catch. How deep into fashion are you? I like making shit and I like colors. I like cool shirts and stuff. What is it called, your line? Golf Wing. And that's golf. a stupid thing, but the four letter golf looks sick on shit. Like, I'll bring you some stuff. You like colors, I can tell. Yeah, I love colors. Right. But you hate golf. But you put golf as the that theme. word looks sick on stuff, dude. I don't know why. Shirts. Yet, the controversy and criticisms never slowed Golf Wing's mediatory rise. If anything, it added fuel to the fire of Tyler's creativity. Season after season, year after year, Golf Wing kept connecting with fans who felt perpetually like outsiders. Through fearless originality, Tyler won over both devotees and detractors alike. The numbers speak for themselves. Golf Wang grew from screen printing tees in a garage into a renowned global fashion force. Golf Wang started out as a passion project of Tyler, the creator back in 2011. What began as a line of vibrant and eccentric clothing and accessories has grown into one of the most distinct brands I could say within the rap fashion niche over the past decade. Tyler exploded to the hip hop scene as the ringleader of Odd Future, a rowdy collective of rappers, producers, and friends. Tyler's music was raw chaotic and unapologetically proactive. Odd Future quickly amassed a cult following amongst rebellious teens and people who were in their 20s who were attracted to their I don't give a fuck ethos. As their fame grew, so did the demand for Odd Future's merch. T-shirts printed with cat graphics and the donut surreal illustrations by the crew's artist Elboy skyrocketed in popularity. Sensing an opportunity, Tyler upgraded the merch operation into an exclusive clothing label called Golf Wang in 2000. The name Golf Wang was a tongue-in-cheek reference to the crew alternate moniker. As Tyler later explained, everyone expects us to be vengeful, angry black dudes who hate everything. But deep down inside, all we want to do is play golf. With this new venture, Tyler could give expressions to his creative passions for designs and wild imagination for graphics. Is fashion more your expression than music? Dude, that's a weird question. I just make stuff, so everything I do is an expression, whether uh -huh. it's an angle that I got in a video or where did you learn business ring or something like, where'd you I, learn business i don't know business i just do golf wing allowed its fans to quite literally wear tyler's unconventional ideals on his sleeves. From the outset, right from the jump, Golf Wing cultivated a playful, do-it-yourself attitude that resonated with youth looking to push boundaries and norms. Its style blended influences like skate couture, surf culture, and hip-hop with Tyler's idiocentric design touches. The first Golf Wing dropped in November 2011, and we could easily say it set the tone. It featured graphic tees and hoodies drenched in hypersaturated shades of green, orange, pink, and blue. The designs were intentionally childlike and proactive, with motives like laser eyed cats, flying saucers. I mean, you get the picture. This vibrant, cartoonish aesthetic channeled the creativity and humor of young adulthood. Tyler later described it as music and clothing for kids that feel like they don't fit in. With subsequent collections, Golf Wang's style evolved and expanded, but always retained its signature sense of cheeky fun. Odd Future may not have gotten full acclaim in their heyday, but their influence persists in every young rapper experimenting with sounds and their awkward image. Tyler collaborated with brands like Vans and Converse on limited capsules, introducing apparel pieces like varsity jackets, striped rubber rugby shirts, chinos, and padded button downs. He played with fabrics, graphics, and silhouettes, but never diluted the label's playful essence. Never sticking to one lane, Golf Wing also teamed up with quirky Japanese sandal makers. Suicide for a line of brightly colored summer footwear. Expanding into fragrances in 2019, Golf Wing developed a soothing candle called Cold Water with Japanese scent makers Rita W. That same year, Lacoste got the Golf Wing treatment for a pale line called Golf Lacoste. Janice's splendid ice cream even turned Tyler 
Island's Technicolor Vision into tasty treats with Golf Le Fleur flavors Snowflake and Pluto Blue. No matter the partner, Golf Wing collab shares that signature kaleidoscopic spirit. Just like Tyler won't be fenced in musically, his fashion brand stays fresh through creative camaraderie. The vintage cool of Levi's got an upgrade when Golf's polka dotted denim. Golf Wing collections were always tongue in cheek, yet meticulously constructed. Tyler had a knack for capturing the rebellious spirit of teen misfits, but his label transcended juvenile shock value or vulgarity. Instead, Tyler won over fans with humor, ingenuity, and infectious enthusiasm for self-expression. With his music and clothes, he validated kids who didn't fit the mold of what rappers or fashion were supposed to be. Tyler was also among the first to harness the power of experimental retail, turning the process of buying merch into an immersive carnival-like adventure. Pop-up shops, exclusive events, and Tyler's flagship store on Fifth Axe Ave became a nirvana for fans. People could purchase limited goods, meet idols like Pharrell, and experience Golf Wing's zany universe firsthand. These exciting innovations endeared Tyler not just the clients, but also influencers and industry heavyweights as well. Soon, powerhouses like Vogue and and GQ took notice. In many ways, Tyler pushed a blueprint for like these weird hip hop stars entering fashion. Through creativity, humor, and pinch of madness, Golf Wing opened the floodgates for hip hop to reshape streetwear fashion in general. In the mid 2010s, Tyler himself began shifting away from his controversial persona as video surfaced of him using homophobic language. As the rapper evolved personally, so too did Golf Wang. The label's designs grew more nuanced, integrating preppy Ivy League references one season and cinematic influences the next, spinning into higher fashion, introducing cut and sew pieces, luxury fabrics like velvet and silk, and a wide range of clothing categories were thrown into the mix. Golf Wing Runaways morphed from do-it-yourself make affairs to full-blown productions with choreography. Yet the label's fundamental remained the same, which was vibrant colors, psychedelic graphics, and Tyler's avant-garde point of view. Through it all, Golf Wing clung to its underdog identity, calling itself the red-headed stepchild of fashion. It was streetwear's class clown inspiring copycats and newcomers alike to bend rules. Tyler proved skeptics wrong by turning a passion project into a legit fashion brand. He's always creating, whether it's with his music or apparel. His clothing label, Golf Wing, just opened a new store in London, England. The Golf Wing store is located in the heart of London's Soho neighborhood. It brings Tyler's creative, electric style to the city's fashion scene. When Golf Wing launched, Tyler and Odd Future got creative with marketing to build buzz. They threw pop-up shops where fans could buy merch and meet the crew. These events built hype and made fans feel part of Odd's future world. The crew also utilized social media early on. They posted images modeling the latest t-shirts and hoodies. The behind the scenes snapshots made fans feel connected to the brand. Tyler tapped the power of influencer marketing too. He wore golf wing constantly. I mean, how many times you see this dude with that G hat? Putting his own creative spin on the clothes. His sense of style spread organically as fans tried to recreate his looks. Shock value was another strategy. Proactive graphics grabbed attention even if it was negative. Tyler used controversy to drive curiosity around Golf Wang's releases. Viral moments like Tyler accepting awards and Golf Wang gear created valuable exposure too. Fans felt invested in the brand's growth. These innovative tactics made Golf Wang one of streetwear's most exciting pioneers and it also created buzz around everything. The innovative techniques Tyler and Golf Wang leveraged can serve as valuable inspiration for up and coming brands. Strategies like social media engagement, creating a buzz with controversy and experimental events could help you organically connect with your core audience and express your brand's unique identity. Adapt Golf Wang's promotion tactics in an authentic way that resonates with your target customer base. Put your creative spin on various digital, social, and real life touch points to share your brand story and product offerings. Stay fiercely dedicated to your brand's vision rather than trends. With consistent and thoughtful branding techniques, focus on fostering community, you too can 
cultivate devoted brand advocates. If you enjoy learning how Tyler cultivated hype for golf wing by embracing controversy and youth culture, hit that like button. Share this video to show love for golf wings creative approach in shaping a unique brand. Leave me a comment on what other innovative clothing brands is making wave right now that you would like to see us cover. Thanks for tuning in y'all. Stay tuned as we continue spotlighting cultural pioneers who write their own rules. All right. I hope you guys have a beautiful blessed week. I hope you guys manifest what you so desperately desire and I hope you guys just stay peace. All right. This is North Studios. Till next time.